children's group. There's no uh, elite group here. They've, they've literally just been taken by hand and brought up. Um, the activities that they're doing, they're very used to. It's things that we do each morning. Um, and Miss Ebedee will lead the way. Yeah. So um, some things can go great, some things might not, but we'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if you have any questions, we can do questions afterwards. Yeah, yeah we'll do them in the end. end. Okay, everyone, are you ready? Sit up straight. Show off. This is really exciting. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, are you ready to show off how well you know your sounds? Come on, James, I know you're really good with your sounds. Are you ready? What's this one? <coughs> Lovely, I'm a good girl. Ooh. Um, this one is our new one. Come on, James, let me see you joining in, sweet pea. Eh, 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 eh,
jump. It's the k, k, k sound. But it's not the k, k, k that we know. It's two letters together make one sound. It's a d -d 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 diagram. It's the curly k and the kicking k together makes the k diagram. Can you say that for me? Diagram. Just the boys. Just the girls. Everyone together? Very good. Now, this is how we write this sound. Can I have a Peter Pointer? Hello, Peter Pointer. Hello, Peter Pointer. Hello, Peter Pointer. Hello, Peter Pointer. Hello, Peter Pointer point to the ceiling. Peter Pointer point to the floor. Peter Pointer point to the person next to you. Peter Pointer point to your nose. Point to the board and copy with Miss Seventy. Curl around the caterpillar. One more time. Curl around the caterpillar. And now this one's a bit tricky, but we'll do it together. Down the kangaroo's body, tail, and leg. One more time. Down the kangaroo's body, tail, and leg. Super duper. Who wants to have a try at doing it on their friend's back? Go on, have a quick try at doing it on your friend's back. Take it in turns. Go on, take it. Ayan, can you do it on Taylor's back? Okay, now swap over and try it the other way around. Taylor, can you do it on Ayan's back for him? That's it. Have you had a go, Maxim? Yeah? Okay. Super, has everyone had a go? Yeah. Great, let's move on. Oh no. What's happened to this man? He's feeling a bit sick. Who can sound talk sick? Sick. Sick. Who thinks they can come and write the first sound for sick? Maxim, go on. Good job. And Taylor, can you do the next sound? Go on, Taylor. Good boy. You didn't even need any help. A bit tricky on the board. There you go. Who thinks they can do the last sound? Can I have to ask for two boys? Let's have a girl. Go on, Sarah. Come on up. Just got one box left, haven't we? Yeah. What comes next? Oh, what comes next? Can we help Sarah out? It's sick. Sick. Mm, do you think it's the curly cut, the kicking cut, or the diagraph cut? Diagraph. 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 Good job. Good. Try and write it. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? There you go. Oh, oh my goodness me. Which is better than us. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, can we all give Sarah a round of applause? Wow, amazing. Who can tell me why is the curly cut and the kicking cut in the box together, Ruben? Because it's a diagram. Because it's a diagram and they're friends. Oh, high five. I'm going to have to give out some dojos when we get back to class. Definitely. And we'll do one more of these. What's this pointing to? A back tape. Who can sound talk back? James, can you do the first sound in back? Please. Ruben, shuffle back a little bit, darling, yeah, so you're going to get squashed. Oh, it's like a foot. Oh, it's a capital foot. That's one. super well done. But what's next? Who's not had a turn? Eight. Alma. Can you come and have a go? Have you not had a go in the piano? Oh, take it. another job. Ruben's foot has a foot. Okay. Oh, can we just pause there, Alma? Sam, talk back with me. because I'm finding it really tricky to pick. Oh, do, 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 do. Has Tay had a turn yet? I don't think Tay has had a turn. Come on then, Tay. Come, Come on, on, Tay. Finish it off for us. They're all doing such a good job. It's hard to choose.
and that kicking care is perfect. I'm not going to touch that. There we go. So we've got B and B. Now, one last job before you can go back to the classroom, okay? We're going to practice our reading <coughs> together. Miss Zebedee has got a sentence, and I have got two pictures, and we have to work out which picture goes with the sentence. So, should we read it together? Yeah. Let's do some cuts and sound buttons. Ready? Can you read it with me? R, E, R, I, C. Oh, this is a tricky word. Who knows this one? Is, A, B, E, T, C. Big. Rick is a bit sick. Rick is a bit sick. Which picture should we put in our box? Um, Ruben, you've not had a turn yet, have you? Did you have a turn? No. No? Go on, Ruben. Which picture do you think goes in the box? Oh my goodness me. Let's have a round of applause. And the last one now. Another sentence. Are you ready to read this? Oh, this one's a tricky word. Who knows what this one is? The, 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 them keep it fresh in their mind when they're writing it. Round the apple, up. round the apple, down the leaf. And again, we did, I think we did send some of these home at Easter or Christmas? No, not Easter, Christmas, but again I can send more of these home if anyone would like them. Um, the phoneme phrase, some of you might not have seen these before, but these are really good with um, learning to write simple words. Because a lot of kids, they can hear the sound, so they'll write it. Sick, like that, and they've got the sounds for the word, but it's just putting it in the correct order next to each other, and that's that easy. If you've got a piece of paper at home, you can literally just draw two lines down, and you've got a phoneme frame, and that's really good. And with the uh, diagraph that we learned, like for instance, sh, sh, things like that, two letters that together make a sound, so you wouldn't read s for sh, they would go in one box together. Um, and then the reading, we use these sound buttons. So for a single sound, for r, i, it's a dot, but the k digraph is a line. So if, they're ever, if you're ever reading at home and you're really struggling with a word, you can write it on a piece of paper, add the sound buttons. That really breaks it down visually for the kids. Um, and that's about it, really. Do, do you have any questions about the lesson? No. Okay, well the next thing I was going to show you are these sound maps. I've put some of them on your chairs to take home with you. So currently, majority of the children are working on phase two sounds, uh, which is really the alphabet sounds. 
Um, but we are all starting to look at the phase three where we start looking at shh, shh. These mats are ideal um, because a lot of parents weren't taught phonics in school. Um, so it's hard to know which sounds go with which letters. It sounds really silly, but sometimes I struggle with them. For instance, yeah. the uh, the U hop, and you think, how do, how do you say it? And you can't, you don't want to get it wrong. So if you look at the pictures, like clearly that's rain for A, you can hear the sound. It's just a really good way for you to support your child if you're not sure of a certain sound, how to pronounce it. Um, and you've got those in your pack. And also, if you're ever a child's really struggling with a sound at school and the teachers have said, oh, can you practice this? YouTube is one of the greatest things to help you so this should work. Uh -huh. So this is Geraldine Giraffe. She is a, well, it's a teacher that's created this giraffe that the kids love. <laughs> It's time E. E. So it's really e, e. simple. And it's made with the E, E letter shapes in there. If you ever struggle with a sound yourself, it's always worthwhile putting Geraldine on because it, it helps me sometimes. Yeah. If I'm, there's some digraphs and trigraphs I can't pronounce. So I'll watch this and then it helps me refresh the sound. So if you ever struggle, it's called Geraldine um, Giraffe. Type in the sound that you need and it's all there. And I've put the link on the front of the pack for that, I think. Yeah. Um, and then, I think we can move towards the end. Our letter formation um, captions, they're all, well, I can print out a, a pack for anyone that needs one, but we use these through stage one and reception to help them form their letters. Um, and they have just really simple captions, down the head to the hooves and over his back. Just a nice visual, fun way for the children to practice handwriting, really, because it can be quite boring for the kids. Yeah. So this is just fun. They like doing the Peter point, and they like doing it on their friend's back. It's just a nice way of making it children friendly, really. And it's easy to do at home as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At home, P Peter points are out. You try it on my back. I'll try it on your back. Mm -hmm. um, the children become familiar with the images rather than the letters, so it all links together, mm. much easier for them. And you can also do things like letter formation in flower, <laughs> shaving foam, salt. We, we try and do it as creatively as possible with paint in their fingers. Mm. They just love getting messy and sometimes sitting them down at a table with a pencil and a piece of paper, they might not want to do that on a Saturday afternoon. So that's I probably what they want, want to do, they've done it all week with us. Yeah, exactly. So if you were to get, get a bit of shaving foam or something, you say, hey, come and do this, they love it. It's really just fun way of tricking them into doing some learning. And even a, a paintbrush with water is lovely. Get a cup, a paintbrush, and it, just on a surface, you know, just to make the, the different letters. Yeah. And it's just a really fun way of getting them to practice. Mm -hmm. And it all really goes hand in hand, the letter formation, the sounds. It all works towards helping them become confident readers and writers, and that's what we want really. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, does anyone have any questions now? Mm -hmm. No? Putting your on the, the The lesson you've just seen is a standard lesson that mm -hmm. we have every single morning for the children, mm -hmm. um, starting in nursery through to reception, and also in year one. It's short, sharp, quick activities um, that the children are engaged in. They all take part, they all join in. Um, there are different levels that the children are working at, but it's the end of year one that we, we really want to get them to a certain point. Um, but it, the main thing is that it's, it's interactive and they're engaged and it is fun and it's not a sit-down lesson with a pencil getting them to write. Yeah. Really. We love taking them outside the products if the weather yeah. is nice and we'll go out, take our chalk and we do try and usually include a bit of writing in the phonics lesson, mm. but I thought that might be a bit too much pressure for the kids today. Yeah. Um, and they have their own phoneme frames um, in their pack, their own ones of these, and, and they'll practice writing. We're starting to write sentences, a lot of us now. So it's, it's really, it, it just builds up and up and up. But yeah. for the majority of the children, we just really want them to have the confidence to write their words in the correct order, because mm -hmm. as I said, that's a big thing, and just hear the sounds. So if your child, I'm trying to think of a word off the top of my head, if your child wrote the word scary, um, scary, if 
they wrote it like that, we would never say that's incorrect in reception because that's phonetically correct to the child. So if your child's going home and writing a word, not the right way, but it sounds right, we, we celebrate that and we say, that's great, you did it, you sounded it out. Because now we'll try it with a different ending. Yeah. So then you give them the opportunity to try it with the ending. Yeah. And you'd say, well, that's how we do it. That's, mm. how, that's the right way to spell it. Yeah. So it's, it's really just about building their confidence yeah. and, and getting them just infused to write and read, I think, on the stage. So, yeah.